Hey, kangaroo and bunny kids. It's Miss Allie, and I am back for another fun ocean activity with you guys. Today, we are gonna make ocean sun catchers. So, we only need a couple of um, things, materials, to be able to set up this activity. First, you're gonna get your coffee filters. I have two here to use for two designs. Then, markers, any color you want. Um, Crayola washable work really well, but whatever markers you have around the house will be fine. Or if you wanted to use your bingo dabber, you can use that for this project as well. So we are going to use the markers. I picked out some nice ocean colors, blues, purples, a teal, things that reminded me of the ocean. Take your marker and I put a little plate down just for something to draw on but color a design on your coffee filter whatever kind of design you want I think using circles for this project is really nice so I'm just gonna color some circles all over my coffee filter feel free to fill it up or only do a couple this project is totally up to you so I'm gonna switch to my teal I love this color some teal circles on here and like I said feel free to mix it up do whatever shape or design you want maybe you want to make smiley faces or just go crazy and scribble everywhere you can do whatever you feel like next I'm gonna do some yellow get some yellow going in here too I like to fill in all the spots because we're gonna put some water on this and see what happens. So, it's kind of cool to use different colors. Cause like when I mix my yellow and my blue, I'm starting to get some green. So, as you can see, I filled up almost my whole filter. I'm gonna do my other one really quick too. So, we'll add so maybe some different designs. Maybe I'm gonna use some purple this time. And I'm just gonna scribble, 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 scribble. Scribble on my page. Nothing about this has to be perfect. It's really just about having some fun with your colors. Seeing if you can make it look like the bottom of the ocean would. What do you think's in the bottom of the ocean? Lots of big fish. Probably some rocks, lots of water. All right, we'll add a little bit of yellow to this one too. All right, guys. Once you've got your coffee filters decorated however you would like, <clears throat> you can use your mister or how, whatever you have at home. So if you just wanted to damp on some water, if you have a spray bottle, it works really well. You could even just run this under the faucet really, really quick. You're gonna take your mister and lightly mist some water onto your filter. Get it nice and wet and then set it somewhere it can dry. Don't touch it, just give it some time to dry. So, I'm going to mist both the mine up, set them down, and we will come back in about 10, 15 minutes once these have had the chance to all get their designs all colored together and had some time to dry. So, I will be back once my coffee filters have dried and we can finish our last step, see what they look like. All right, see you guys soon. Hey, kangaroo and bunny kids, it's Miss Allie, and I am back to finish our fun ocean sun catcher activity. So, I left these out to dry, and look, the awesome designs that came out. The water really made all the colors bleed, and now it looks like a beautiful underwater creation. So, you can use these just as they are. Put them up onto the window and let the sun shine through. They look beautiful to hang in the windows, um, anywhere that the sun might be able to come through and shine right through them. It makes all the colors really vibrant and pretty. 
So you can use either side, whatever side you think looks more beautiful. To make mine just a little bit more fun, I think I'm gonna add some outlines of ocean animals to them. So on one, I'm gonna do a shark, and on the other, I think I'll do a jellyfish. So I'm just gonna draw what I think a jellyfish would look like. Give his top body here, and then some squiggly legs. Squiggly legs for my jellyfish. There's a little jellyfish body. Then I'll try and attempt some kind of shark here with a big fin on the top and a big belly. Hmm, trying to think of what a shark face looks like. So then he has a big old mouth. You guys don't have to be perfect at this, that is for sure. I am not. So, cut out my outlines of my shark and my jellyfish. And I'm gonna use these as a design on the top of my coffee filter. So, there's a little, kind of looks like a shark. Doesn't have to be perfect, right? Cut out our jellyfish body here. This one takes a little longer with all those squiggly legs. This is a hard one to cut out, but I bet you guys can do it if you try really hard. You can pick whatever ocean animal you love. Maybe you like whales, maybe you like fish, penguins, whatever kind of animal you would like. I love jellyfish, I think they're so cool. Don't wanna to get too close to them, but they look really pretty. So, there is my little squiggly jellyfish. Once you've cut out your shapes, you can use your glue stick or tape, anything you want to put some glue on there and stick it to the center of your sun catcher. There's one, I'll oh, blue my shark. You can use whatever color paper you want to, it doesn't have to be blue, so whatever kind of construction paper you have around is totally fine. It's just nice when it's one plain color and I like blue because it reminds me of the ocean. So, there we have some beautiful under the water sun catchers. When you hang this in the window, it's gonna look like a really pretty jellyfish floating through the ocean. There's my shark swimming on through. So have some fun, get a little creative and see what you guys can come up with. I can't wait to see all of your fun ocean sun catcher designs. Talk to you guys soon.